Chef Janie and welcome to my kitchen. Okay, we're going to roast the vegetables and the beef bones and the ribs for two hours. Now while that is in the oven roasting, I chopped up my carrots and I diced up my red onion and my celery and here is my oh, very wonderful, very aromatic pieces of parsley. And then here we have this beautiful leek. Selected an 18 quart stock pot with an aluminum clad bottom. The stock pot itself is stainless steel. I don't cook in anything that is aluminum because aluminum can bleed into your food and that causes mercury poisoning. I also have a tight fitting glass top so I can see what's going on inside my pot. And this pot has a steam vent. Okay, our pieces of um, beef bones, ribs, and vegetables have been roasting in the oven for two hours. And I've pulled it from the oven and I'm going to let this uh, cool down for about five minutes until it's not so sizzly so it doesn't splatter me. Okay, now I'm just going to put these, pick these up carefully, and I'm just going to set these down inside my stock pot. Some of these are pretty heavy. So, there we go. And what's left behind here is this fat. So I'm going to drain off the fat here, you can see it right here, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to deglaze this pan. Okay, my stove has a bridge element. You can see the back burner, the front burner, and there's a middle section that is on. And I'm just going to sit this, I've drained off the fat, and now what I'm going to do is add some water to this, and I'm going to deglaze my pan. Now just start stirring around. I've added about two cups of water, three cups of water. Remember to drain the fat off first. Bring this back up to a simmer, a hard simmer, and just kind of get all this crispy good stuff off the bottom of your pan. And we're going to deglaze this. This will help really clean this pan up. This will save you hours of scrubbing at the sink, and it's really good for coloring for our broth. Okay, once the bottom of the pan feels nice and smooth, we've got all these big dark chunks of vegetables that's been roasted on the bottom up. This takes some effort. I'll have to bring it up to a hard boil. You can. And now I'm going to pour this in back on top of the bones. Okay, I've added the broth from the bottom of the roasting pan to my stock pot. And now I'm just going to add my vegetables. And then I want you to turn this on cold water, water that is oxidized. And I want you to fill this up about one inch from the top of the rim. Look how dark and rich brown that is already just from roasting those vegetables. And you can kind of see this this is what makes the difference between stock and brown. Okay, and here's John. He has to help me. Are you can grind it in there you go. I got some help. Okay, go ahead. Oh as much as you want. Keep going. In fact, if you want to, we can probably just put some peppercorns in there if we got them. Okay, we're putting in our um, mixed ground pepper. Go ahead and add some of that sea salt. John's my sous chef. Great. There you go. Go for it. He's having fun. The size of that salt shaker. Okay, we don't want to put a whole bunch of salt in this because when we make this into soup or whatever we're making it out. You add a little bit of rub sage in there, just a little bit. What you do is you put it in the palm of your hand and then you rub it between your hands. Here you go, a little bit more. Here, let's get that out of there. <laughs> that's that's the real stuff from my garden. Don't burn yourself on that. That's still hot. There you go. 
sage is more of a poultry uh, herb to me, so. And there's some thyme in that drawer there next to you. There you go. Right here. Yeah, rub that between your hands and put some of that in there as well. A little bit more. There you go. A couple teaspoons. Just rub it in there and drop it in. There you go. Mmm. Smells delicious. Okay, and we've got already got the parsley in, so we're ready to go. Let's put the lid on this. And uh, like I said, this has a steam vent in it already, see? So, there you go. Turn this on. I'm going to turn on both burners because this is a dual burner. There you go. How long you going to cook it? Ooh, that's a good question. You want to ask that one more time? How long do you have to cook it? <laughs> um, about five hours. You can go two hours if you want to, but I'm going to go five because okay. I'm going to make it good. And then when this is cooking down, I just have to keep adding water to keep the water line up where it's at. And that's it. So now we can make the split pea soup. Mm. I know you look like you're hungry. Mm, he's hungry. <laughs> when soup is cooled enough to handle, then I want you to grab a couple of your largest containers. I'm using this heavy weave uh, cheesecloth. Okay, John and I were up at 3.30 in the morning to do this. <laughs> we had to cut two pieces of wood. Strainer. There we go. It's hard to be peppy at 3.30 in the morning, isn't it, honey? Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let's get down the cloth here. Get something to put it on. We're going to drain this. I'm letting John help me do this. Because it's 3.30 in the morning. Okay, you can see our pieces of beef bone in there. Look at that collar. Oops. I'll put those in another, another container. There we go. Okay, once you've got the majority of the liquids poured into the colander, then I'm just going to have John go ahead and throw away the larger pieces of bone. So they don't fall out on us and splatter everywhere. Remember, you always want to discard the bones. You don't ever want to eat what's in here. No nibbling. Okay. <laughs> Get all that good stuff out of the bottom of the pan. Just take a wooden spoon and just lightly press out some of the remainder of the liquids out of these vegetables. Okay, when you've given this five minutes to drain, John's going to show you how to pull the four corners of your cheesecloth or your thin linen cloth corner to corner. Squeeze it up really close to the, you know, a little bit of a turn. You remember how I do it. That's good enough. And just kind of give it a little bit of a squeeze. Okay, next you want to cover your dish with one or two layers of plastic wrap. Okay. You don't want to refrigerate this for two days. That's 48 hours. And we'll see you back here then. Yeah, make sure you got your room in your refrigerator, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Good night. Good night. <laughs>